Well, good morning. It's uh, it rained last night. Oh, I here for some reason. They're loving the rain. But this is a campsite for last night. Um, you can hear the main road there, <laughs> trucks and stuff all night. But hey, that's part of it. I'm out here um, living the dream. So yeah, on that uh, on that note, today's going to be one of those videos that I've I've, I've wanted to do for a little while. Um, because yeah, you get a lot of people hitting you up, like living the dream, living on the road and stuff. It's just I'm trying not to cross-contaminate my um, my channel with like full driving, touring stuff, and fishing stuff, so and camping stuff. So, anyway, today's going to be a video. I'm just going to take you along the whole day. I'm committing right now to um, editing and putting this video out. So, whatever happens, happens. Hey buddy, hey girl, what's going on? What's going on, the friendly neighborhood dog, hey? The friendly neighborhood dog. She's beautiful, hey? She comes over and tries to get a bit of food out of you, hey? You come over to get a bit of food out of me. Yeah. Let's get this thing up. Not too concerned about getting on the on the water like super early today because one we're doing exploring today and I don't want to launch at an unknown boat ramp and an unknown creek like in the dark you know what I mean especially with lizards and stuff around um, yeah so that it's off of the beaten path so it's uh, down a dirt road it's a bush I think it's a bush ramp it just looks like one lane just cutting the mangroves so yeah potentially muddy and whatever so uh, and the second thing is that it rained last night and this is a big factor for me is when it rains I try and let the tent dry out as much as it can before you close it otherwise it gets like musky it gets a bit musky in there and you don't want mold growing in your tent because it's like it's my house you know I don't want to I don't want to um, be uh, yeah, living in a musky musky house so okay, we should be right but uh, I want to cook some brekkie let the tent dry and then we'll cruise out get on the water Anyways, let's cook some eggs. Not bad for uh, back of the year, eh? So I'm gonna eat this, and then we'll um, pack up and we'll uh, get on the road. Quick look at the tides. Thursday, eh? Mm. Oh yeah, right, okay. It's a 1.3 low and a 3 metre high. This is good. Bite time early this morning at 5.40, so we missed that anyway. And then the next one's at 12, so we'll fish till 12. So we'll scan around if we see any um, like big barra holding up or the school's threadies or whatever. Which, I don't know if I anticipate that much because it is a small system. I don't know if it'll hold those big schools or big fish. But yeah, we'll go and have a look at them, and if we find any, we'll go. And, we'll have to sit on them between 12 and 1, I guess. Try and get a bite out of them if we find them. Other than that, we'll just explore and you know, try a few different things. And uh, what's the moon? The moon's at 58%. So we're on neap tides at the moment. The other day, actually, the fishing's been a little bit, a little bit tough. The when was it? Today's Thursday. So Monday, I launched at 6 a.m. and I came back in at 5, and there was 0.5 tidal movement all day. Just ran out 0.5, and the fish were just like super weird. Like I fished mangroves, clear mangroves, early morning, and I saw a lot of fish up in there, jacks big barrows too like you know those 80 models and you throw your lure in there they'd swim along you throw your lure in front of them you're like I don't know two three meters in front of them and try and work it and then they come and you know thinking they'll come and eat it in front of them and they just like come up to your lure and they just swim around it like that happens so much on Monday and Tuesday just because there's like no tidal movement they just nothing to sort of turn the fish on so All right, we're all packed up. Let's get this uh, show on the road, get down to the ramp and uh, make something happen. Here 
we go off the beaten path. All right, yeah, so not too bad of a road, actually. Get a little bit of dust all on the boat, but um, with the dew and stuff, it's kind of stuck to all the, the dew and the wet. But, uh, yeah, the ramp's not as bad as I thought either. It's actually concrete, but it does look like it's got a fair amount of mud at the bottom of it. Just go over, I don't like filming boat ramps, too, but people get a bit upset if you film their boat ramp. Uh, so, Which is, that's fine, whatever. But, um, yeah, let's have a look at it. Just right in the middle of the mangroves here. I think that'll be all right. I think that'll be okay. So yeah, boat ramp's not too bad. It is high tide, obviously. You can see how far the, the ramp probably goes out to the edge of the mangroves there. So probably gets pretty low here and pretty restrictive. So. Um, Alright, let's get it off. It's not muddy at all, so let's get it off. Let's get it happening. The only problems that I sort of have in these sort of boat ramps is like putting my boat somewhere and then like not having it float off. So I'll probably put it over here in the mud. I'll probably have to put it over here in the mud and then um, hopefully not get too muddy. But uh, alright, let's get it off. Just have to sneak up the side there. It's not real muddy. Get that up a bit. All right, let's get this out, get this parked. Oh, the wind too, it's blowing, blowing gale. Another thing I consider is like, I have to park in the sun every day so my panel gets um, uh, some juice in it and my batteries get some juice in it. So here there's not a lot of trees, oh, there's heaps of trees, not a lot of sun at the moment. So hopefully we can, the sun will come poke over here and uh, hit my panel while I'm out and uh, give me some juice, so. So yeah, down out towards sea, that's why we're in the creeks today. The mouth's only just there, you can just see it. But um, yeah, super windy, super windy, 20 knots southerly, so yeah, we're not gonna go that way, we're gonna go up and try and get away from the wind and oh my God, the midges here are just insane, so. Chuck the sounder on and uh, go for a look, okay? Eh? In the stick, <laughs> little bar. Oh yeah, nice. First bar on the new rod, actually. That's cool. <laughs> In the stick. Here he comes for a jump. Oh, he just popped the hook right there. Pulled the hooks right there. Some bitch. Ah oh, well, that's barra for you. Literally popped the hook right there. Oh, well, next time, next time. Good sign though. There's one. Oh, it's that little barra. <laughs> oh, what a, what an absolute slap in the face that is for a consolation prize. <laughs> That's a shocking consolation prize. Oh, well, you can't be. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, eh? <laughs> Fish tank barra. See you, mate. <laughs> There's one. Yep. Oh. See that? Come out and looked at it. Didn't eat it. There's one. Oh, trevallies. Trevallies. <laughs> Lots of trevallies. <laughs> Pack a tag of trevallies. Oh, he's hooked underneath. Hooked underneath. That's why he's being a bullfed. Hooked underneath, mate. That's why you're swimming around in circles. There we go. You're off and racing, mate. Back in you go. There you go. A little bit of excitement, anyway.
There's, oh, get out. Are they Trevs? Oh, they must be Trevs. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> there we go. Another Trev. Save the day. He's hooked underneath the belly again, that's one. Another one. Jeez, desperate. Settle down. Dickhead. There you go, back in you go. Doofus. Hey, mother! Snake tried to get aboard there, look at it. Look at that little whip snake. <laughs> get out of here. He's got me wrapped. No, he got off. He wrapped me. He wrapped me on the stick and he got off. Oh no, he's still on. Oh, there must have been two in there because I saw one. I saw one like fully take off. So we're still on here. Oh. Oh, he's gonna come off. He's a hundred percent gonna come off. Oh, I've got him. The outside of the net. <laughs> that's one way to do it, mate. <laughs> Try and get him in the net, but that's all right. Oh, there we go. Must have been two in there because I saw. I was like, oh, he's hit it, and then he's left me on the. He's left me on the stick. I'll just pull that back through. It's like a frown the sticks. Yeah, he's like got me all the way around around the sticks. And his little mate, his mate came out one side and he went the other way, so. Nice clean little barrow there. You can go back in your snag, man, that you love so much. But yeah, cool beans. Gotta be one under this stick. Surely. There's one. Yep. Oh, no, he missed it. Oh, yep, he got it. That's a Trev. That's a Trev, that's why. That's not a Barrow, that's a Trev. <laughs> Trev's galore at the moment. They're all hooked on the belly, though, these Trevs. Hell bent about getting around that trolling ladder. Oh, yeah, there goes my drink. Cool. Right. Oh, I yeah, nearly got a treble in the thumb then. Nearly, nearly got a treble in the thumb. Okay, little creek basher. Very fun, very fun. There's one. It's a little jack. Is it a little jack? It is. A little aquarium jack, that one. A little fish tank jack. <laughs> one of the smallest jacks I've ever seen. I've ever got. Oh, on it. See you, mate. I have a really, you know, you get that feeling. You're being watched, you know, I reckon there's, there's a croc sitting over there really shallow. She's watching me, that croc there. That's the second time I've seen her today. She's watching me, eh? Oh, sunk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure logs don't do that. <laughs> logs definitely don't come up out of water and go back down, you know. That is a croc. That is 100% a croc. 100%. There's one. Oh, I was just twitching it as I was coming in shallow here, and oh, he's taken off that one. He's taken off. He followed that behind the boat. We're in. We're in 1.2 meters of water. I just wanted to see if they would come up here really shallow because the, the tide's coming in and they were sitting out there deeper. Oh yeah. And um. Oh, is this a little? This is a little queenie, is it? Oh, just, just full of surprises. We're racking up some species today. But yeah, that's pretty cool, eh? I was just marking some barra there on the edge of this channel. Oh, a little queenie, how good is that? Hey! <laughs> Settle down, mate. 
Yeah, that's awesome. That is actually awesome. <laughs> We've racked up some species today, hey. Look at that. The colours in him. That's pretty awesome, eh? Hey? Not gonna lie, I'm disappointed you're not a barra, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? All right, there we go. Fully spiked me. Big anal spike. He gave me a big anal spike, but yeah. Cool little, cool little fella. Get him back in, trying to chase these barras up on the flats. There he goes. Oops, come back up the surface. Off you go, mate, go. What are you doing? Still on the surface there, look. No, he's all right, he's gone now. Cool. Cool, well that was interesting. Oh, there's one. Yep. Barra. Little barra. Little barra on board here. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's so cool. Nailed the jerk, bait. In the net. Good boy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice little fella. Nice little fella on the jerk, bait there. Now I'm starting to beef up, you're starting to get your yellow tail. Still a little bronzy on top, but hey, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Off you go, man. Back in you go. Very cool. We're all camped up for the night. And we've got a bit of firewood over here. And I thought we might start a bit of a fire. We got a we got our um, hammock up here. We'll start the fire here, and we'll uh, we'll chill out, wait for the sun to go down, and do a bit of editing, and that'll be us for today. All right. Well, that's another day in the. Uh, in the diary, I'm gonna chill out in my hammock and watch this fire go and then um, get up and do it all again tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on another episode at another point in time.